Hi guys, Shema Polot here, and the world is ablaze with the AI race right now. And what I want to show you is how useful ChatGPT can be to do a bunch of things for you in Excel. Okay? So I'm going to, I've created a small problem set, and I'm going to, I've created a problem, I'm going to solve it fast as myself, and then I'm going to ask ChatGPT to solve the same problem, and we're going to see if it can give me the same answer, and we're going to see what that process is like. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I have here a list of students and their scores in four different quizzes. Now, I want to find two things. I want to find their average score, which is easy, and we all know how to do, I hope. And then the, the, the next thing I want to do, which seems easy, but it's a little tricky to do in Excel, is I want to find the average of their top three scores. Okay? So, let's start with the average, okay? To find the average, uh, let's initiate the average function, select the range you want, press enter, scroll, copy the formula downwards, and there we have it, okay? This is our average. I just want to check if we have the right values, so I select that and check down here, 86.8, 86.8, I select a new range, 83.5, 83.5, so we have the correct average, okay? So now, to find the top three highest quiz scores, we have, to, we, have to, we have to be tricky a bit. Now, I can think of at least two ways to do this in Excel, okay? So the first thing that we do is we, we use the average function, and then we nest the large function inside the average function, okay? Okay, now large, the large function, what it does is it will find you the nth largest number in a given range, okay? N being the rank um, in the range. If you want to find the largest number in the range, then you'd put the range and then you'd put one. If you want to find the second largest number in a range, you'd put the range and then you'd put two, and so on and so forth, okay? So large usually takes an array. In this case, our array is this. And then it takes a constant, k, which you see here. However, we don't want just one number. We want three numbers. There are three highest scores. We want to find the average of their three numbers. So first, what we want to do is we want large to produce three numbers that can then be averaged. Okay? So this is a tricky thing. How do we do it? What I'm going to use is creating an, sort of a, an array instant, which is, this is just a thing, hard to explain to you why, this is just how it works in Excel. Um, but I just tell it, so instead of putting one figure, I'm going to tell it to give me back the first highest, the second highest, and the third highest. I'm going to close those curry brackets, close the large function, close the average function as well. And there we have it. I'm just going to select this downward, press Command D to copy the formula downwards. And there we have it, 90.0. I'm just going to check to see our formula is right. To do that, I look at these four scores. I see these are the highest. I select those two, and as you can see, 90 here is the average, and we are correct. Let me select another random range here, 62, 62, 93. So let me select this, 75.3. Sorry, the top three average is 79.7, 79.7. That looks about correct. So we are good to go, right? And uh, that's one way to do it. I just wanted to show you another way to do it. Another way to do it is using the sequence function. And what sequence does is it generates an array based on um, instructions you give it. You tell it, I want an array with this number of rows and this number of columns, an array or a range, and it will just spit those out, okay? So for example, in, if the sequence function if it asks you for rows and you put three, as you can see, every other argument in here is optional because they are surrounded by square brackets. So just putting in three will return one, two, and three. Now that is useful. Why? Because it's giving us one, two, and three, which is exactly what we need. Okay. So what we want to do is you see what happened in this, in this formula. So instead of writing this, what we will do, we shall put sequence 3 in here, and what sequence 3 will do is it will create this same instance here, because this here is an array of 1, 2, 3, 
this here is equal to that to that oh crap brought that in the wrong place this here this this array of figures is exactly identical to this that's created from the sequence function okay so all we're going to do is instead of using this which might be a little hard for you to fathom or understand what we will use instead is the sequence function inside the large function inside the average function so we take that and then we use sequence and we just say three we close all those brackets and again we get the same answer I sh press shift downwards command D copy the formula downwards and we have the same values just not rounded up okay so that's the second way that you can do it just for future reference okay now I do want to figure out if chat GPT can help generate this solution for us okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to I want to combine these two, so I'm going to split my windows. I'm going to get chat GPT from here. Split that like this. Okay, so now I'm going to ask it. I'm going to, I want to move this here so we can see both at the same time. So I'm going to ask it, how do I find the average of the top three numbers in a given range? Okay, I press enter and uh, let's see what it does. So it asks here is one way to find the average of the top three. Uh, so it's telling me, it's giving me an option in Python because I didn't specify which software to use. So this is really cool, but we're not using Python right now. So I'm going to ask it in Excel, okay. How do I do this in Excel? So I enter that, and let's see what it says. To find the average of the top three numbers in a given range in Excel by using the following steps. Select the range of numbers and you, do you want to find, and then use the formula. Press the Enter key, and there we have it. Here is the formula, and guess what? It is the exact same formula that we used in here, all right? You see that? The only difference is the range. My range is F8 to F8 and it's A1 to A10. Fantastic, right? So ChatGPT is actually able to create this solution for me and actually solve my problem, all right? So all I would have had to do would be to come in here, copy this, Come inside my Excel sheet. If I hadn't uh, done this, I would have come there. Paste the formula in here, and then just change the range to match the range that I want, and press Enter. And then copy the formula downwards. What I'm trying to figure out now is why my Excel is giving me blank figures. I think this might be a font thing because I can definitely see it's finding averages. So let me just, yeah, it was just a font issue. Okay, so let's not worry about that formatting there. But yes, but we still get the same values as we see. They're just rounded up, okay? So in this case, ChatGPT actually solved my problem. Now, this problem doesn't always work. These solutions, especially when you start using arrays, they don't always work the same way in Excel and Google Sheets. So I want to see if Excel is able to solve this problem in Google Sheets as well. Okay, so I keep pressing Enter. All right, so how do I do this in Google Sheets? All right, so we see it's typing, average, large, A10, row, 
index. Okay, that is huge. Replace A1 to A10 with the range of cells that contain the numbers you want, okay? Okay, so what we're going to do is just copy that. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to create a new window in Google Sheets. So first, I'm going to come here and get these values. Make this bigger just so you can see it. Okay, paste these values in here, like so. So then what I want What I want is top three, okay? So I'm going to pay, oh, I pasted something else. So I need this formula, there we go. So I paste that formula in here, and all I want to do is replace A1 to A10 with my range, which my range is, so I need to come in here, a1 to A10, uh, B2 to E2, B2 to E2, here as well, B2 to E2, I press enter, and this is what it gives me. However, we need to check and see if that is right. So one, let's copy the formula downwards. Okay. Function large parameter two value and five is out of range. Um, so one, this should be B2 to E to E2. Yeah, that's right. B All right, that is correct. B3 to E3, B4, B5. So let's just take a look at what's happening. I just want to take a look at what's happening. Okay, so 91, it's giving us, because the, the answer is clearly wrong, because when we select these values, which we know to be the highest, the average is 90, but it gives us um, 91. And let's try, so with what, and with this, the average is 87.6, and it gives us 82. And then down here, function large parameter 2, parameter 2, value 5, value 5 is out of range. Yeah, so this formula just is not working for the problem that we are trying to solve. So... Let's see if we can tell ChatGPT that our formula isn't working. Eighty. 
Okay, so I told it that. Let's see what it says. Okay, it's so nice, it even apologizes. Okay, the formula provided returns an average of the largest three values, but doesn't limit the results to only the top three values. Huh, no idea what that means. Here is a corrected formula that will return the top, the average of the top three values. Okay, it looks like it's really processing it in real time, right? Ooh. That looks complicated. That looks complicated. <laughs> Okay, so I want to avoid us from going into a rabbit hole in this. So I'm just going to test this out. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that in here. And I'm going to replace this with our range, V2 to E2. Function index parameter two value is three value. Yeah, it's definitely not going to work. But yeah, so um, I don't want to spend all this time troubleshooting this challenge. Um, this is a very good learning experience for what we are trying to demonstrate. As you've seen, um, ChatGPT is very powerful and is able to solve a decent number of problems in Excel. However, you need to have certain knowledge about how to troubleshoot the responses that it gives you in Excel so that you're able to make sure that you're not doing something wrong. However, um, I've used it a bunch of times and I'm telling you seven times out of 10, maybe even eight times out of 10, it gives me the right answer. So um, I definitely recommend you use it with your work if you aren't already. Whenever you have a specific problem, stuck with a bunch of code errors, then just... Um, Type your problem in chat GPT and see what happens. Otherwise, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.